Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to show you a bunch of tips and tricks and hidden features for the iPhone 16 series, which includes the iPhone 16, the iPhone 16 Plus, the iPhone 16 Pro, and the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Two or three of these features and hidden tips and tricks are exclusive to the Pro models, but rest of them apply to all the four iphone 16 models and no we are not going to give you a detailed tutorial about action button so without any further delay let us get down to business our first hidden feature for the iphone 16 series is the ability to pause videos while you are recording them so here it is i am recording a video i have the pause button on the bottom right i select this video recording is now paused and if i want to resume it i can select this option next and it is going to resume the video recording and if i want to stop it i have to tap this button and bam there it is video recording was now stopped next up if you are about to take a picture and you swipe up to access the timer you now have a new option of five seconds which you can set for the timer previously you only had the option of three and ten then on the top left you have the option of flash if you press and hold on this option you now get the option of flash auto on or off and in addition to that on the top right you see this square if you tap on this you can now switch between the different photographic styles on the fly and then you can use this dot to change the different parameters like tone and color and you can use the slider to change the intensity or the palette and if you want to reset it you do have the option of resetting a specific photographic style and while we're talking about photographic styles you can always change the photographic style of a picture after you have taken it all you have to do is open the picture in the photos app tap on these three parallel lines you will get the option of styles herein you will see you have the same options of going through the different photographic styles which are available and if you tap on any of them you can again use the dot to change the tone the color and the slider to change the palette and once you're happy with the results tap anywhere else tap on done on the top right and that is going to save this picture with a new photographic style applied and guess what if you do that same thing one more time you now have the option of reverting this to the original photographic style in which this picture was taken Another hidden feature related to pictures in the Photos app is have a look at this picture of Master Yoda. It is a portrait shot. But what if you want to remove the portrait blur? All you have to do is tap on the portrait on the top left and then say portrait off. And because with the iPhone 16 series, the depth information is being saved with the picture, we were successfully able to remove the portrait effect. Other than that, you can also change the f stop so if i tap on these three lines you see the portrait effect there it is the depth effect i can change it using this slider and there it is now it is all the way to the right which means it is turned off again tap on done on the top right to save your changes and let us say you take a picture you forgot to go into portrait mode you want to add the portrait effect you can do that as well tap on the portrait on the top left and this time around we're going to select portrait and again depth information was there bam there it is we have now successfully changed this picture of master yoda from a normal shot to a portrait shot tap on these three lines and again you can configure the background depth and the blur using the slider and then tap on done on the top right to save your changes then if you own the iphone 16 pro and the iphone 16 pro max and you want to take 48 megapixel pictures all you have to do is go into settings then you will go into camera go into formats enable pro raw and resolution control tap on pro default make sure that it is agif max now if i go to the camera app on the top left i have the option of agif max i am going to enable this and now any picture which i take which is not in max mode let us say i took this picture this picture is now taken in 48 megapixels here it is 48 megapixel with the fusion camera and the same is true for your wide angle camera as well portrait shots still come out in 12 megapixels i'm not sure why maybe it is apple which has to fix that in the next ios version 
Next up, if you have an iPhone with a dynamic island and at this point all iPhone 16 models have the dynamic island and you're using the flashlight. Flashlight is on, I tap on the dynamic island. I can now change the beam or the width of the flashlight, a pretty cool feature and also you can make it less or more but the interesting part is you can change the width or the beam of the flashlight on your iPhone 16 series with the dynamic island. Our next hidden feature for the iPhone 16 series is the ability to turn off your iPhone from the control center. Previously, you would have to press volume up, volume down, press and hold the power button to get you to the slide to power off menu. Now, if you swipe down to access your control center, on the top right, you have a power button. Press and hold on this icon. You're going to feel a subtle vibration. Let go, slide to power off. Did you hear that power off sound? And what about that power on sound? Now, in case you do want to enable these power on and off sounds, you have to go into settings, accessibility. Once you're in accessibility, you will go into audio and visual. And here in you have power on and off sounds. Enable this toggle and your iPhone is going to play a sound every time it is turned on and it is turned off. Location toggle. Did you see that? I had to say something and an action was performed without using Siri. This is a new feature, a pretty cool hidden feature which can be found in settings, accessibility. Scroll down, you will see the option of vocal shortcuts. Enable this and you can add any action. All you have to do is say a Siri request, any shortcut which you have created using the shortcuts app or a bunch of other options which you have. So let us say we say screenshot and then what is the custom phrase you want to assign to it. Then we're going to say go. Yo screenshot yo. Yo screenshot yo. Yo screenshot yo. That's it. My action is now ready. All I have to do next is yo screenshot yo. There it is, screenshot taken like a boss using an awesome great hidden feature called vocal shortcuts on your iPhone 16 series. Then you have a pretty customizable control center on the iPhone 16 series, but to switch between the different tabs or different pages, you have to swipe. What if I told you if you swipe down and hold, you can actually jump directly to whatever page or whatever section of the control center you want to be in. Our next hidden feature for the iPhone 16 series is the ability to hide app names. So all you have to do is press and hold anywhere on the home screen, empty space, you get the wiggle animation, tap on edit on the top right, go into customize here and change the icons from small to large, bam, there it is. App names or icon labels are now hidden on your iPhone 16 series. Then did you know that you could actually convert an app icon to a widget all you have to do is press and hold on that specific app icon and if there is a widget available you will see a menu like this i select this one bam there it is the clock app icon was changed to the clock widget on the fly and the vice versa is also true our next hidden feature for the iphone 16 series is the ability to share your wi-fi with your friends without telling them your wi-fi password and you're going to do this by using a qr code or creating a qr code for your wi-fi network how do you do that all you have to do is open the new passwords application which should be present on your iphone 16 series from the main page of passwords go into wi-fi now this is going to show all the wi-fi networks you have connected to now here in select the Wi-Fi network which you want to share with your friends. On the next page, you will get the option of show network QR code and that's it. Your friends can now scan this QR code to connect to your Wi-Fi network or you can take a printout of it and place it on your doorway so that all the guests which are coming to your party can now access your Wi-Fi just by scanning a QR code. Then did you know you could actually use your iPhone 16 series as a song recognition device all you have to do is go into settings then you will go into action button and map it to this option called recognize music which is going to find out what song is playing nearby or on your iphone with shazam and then all i need to do is press and hold and bam there it is shazam right now is listening to the song which is playing in the background and there it is it detected it as in the end by lincoln park 
Our next hidden feature for the iPhone 16 series is in the Safari browser. So let us say you're browsing a website and you have a lot of distracting items. All you have to do is tap on this icon on the left of the address bar. You see the option of hide distracting items. And now all you have to do is select that distracting item and say hide, boom, poof, disappeared like a boss. And once you're done with whatever you want to hide, remove the distracting items, tap on done and bam, there it is. And of course you're smart enough to know what items on the internet are distracting and you want to hide them. Our next hidden feature for the iPhone 16 series is awesome great features added to the calculator app. On the top left, you see the three parallel lines or the hamburger menu, that is our history. Then you also now have a backspace button to delete whatever you're typing. And if you press and hold, it is going to clear it out. And on the bottom left, you see the calculator. Tap on this, you can switch between scientific or you can get math notes as well. And you can say continue over here. I do not want iCloud right now, but herein you can create a new math note and we're going to say let us say x is equal to 5 and as soon as i type in 2x it is telling me 2x is equal to 10 so there is some artificial intelligence and some calculations built into the calculator app as well and there it is peeps that was our list of hidden tips and tricks for the iphone 16 series if you feel we have missed out on an awesome great feature which you would like other people to know about make sure you mention it in the comments on this video